Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. Let's take a look at today's article. Today's article, it says, reflecting back to you. If you look at the picture, we see a mirror and we see a lake. And what's happening in the lake, right? The, the mountain is reflecting, it's shining back. So today's article, we'll be focusing on that word, reflect. Reflect means to show what you are looking at, right? Or to show what uh, is in front of it, right? Back to you. So reflecting back to you, let's take a look at this. The first quote, it says, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? So have you ever heard of this quote? It's a famous quote from a famous Disney movie. It's from Snow White. So the, the mother would look, or the witch, she would look in the mirror and ask this question to the magic genie in the wall. She, she would say, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? So fairest, uh, it has several different meanings. Fairest uh, usually means most beautiful, but it also means who is the whitest, right? So a long time ago, they used to think that having white skin was a beautiful thing. And remember in that story, Snow White, right? She has very white skin. So people say that it's either beautiful or who's the whitest of them all. So who is the fairest of them all? Just like in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, most mirrors are made of glass, metal, or sometimes even stone. I actually had to check this if there are actually stone mirrors, and there are. If you shine the stone, uh, if you gloss it, it can sometimes give you an image back. And I guess a long, long time ago, before they used glass or even uh, metal, they had to use some kind of shiny stones to look at, their selves, look at themselves. So yes, even stone mirrors. Light reflects on all surfaces and objects. So light, what shines, that reflects or bounces off of right uh, all surfaces surfaces is the top of something so a surface of a desk a surface of the floor it means the tops of something so light bounces back right bounces on the tops of all surfaces and objects all other things okay so if I have my phone then the light would bounce off of it okay even our skin right now we can see our skin because the light is bouncing off of it so here, but we can only see those surfaces after the reflected light travels into our eyes. So only when the light bounces and then those lights reflect into my eyes, that's when I can see it. So if no light reflected and bounced into my eyes, I would not be able to see anything, okay? So mirrors are smooth, flat surfaces that reflect light very well. So smooth means it's very clean, right? It's not bumpy. Right, but it's very smooth. Uh, flat surface, flat means it's straight, okay? So it's a top, right? So mirrors are a top of something that is very smooth, flat, and bounce light, reflect light very well. When we look at a mirror, the light bounces off our face, into the mirror, and back into our eyes. So when we look at a mirror, the light bounces off of our face, it goes to the mirror and then it comes back to our eyes. That's how we're able to see ourselves. That's how we know what we look like. So if you look at this lake, that means the light from the sun has to bounce from the mountain to the, this uh, shiny surface, okay? Like this reflective surface, which is the water. And then this has to bounce back or bounce to our eyes to see it, right? Same thing with the mirror, the light has to bounce into the, the surface, this mirror, and then bounce back to our eyes so we can see this. So now you know how a mirror works. So we can see mirrors in our cars, in our homes, and even in a lake. And I hope you're interested enough to check out what the old stone mirrors look like. It's pretty interesting. So these are how the mirrors work, and this is how reflection works so that you and I can see with our eyes. Let's take a look at our comprehension questions for today. It says, most mirrors are made of glass, metal, or sometimes even, I've said this many times, what's a very interesting choice for a mirror? Even a stone mirror, a rock, right? Uh, light, something on all surfaces and objects. What does light do? Does light get stuck? Does the light shine on all surface and object? What does the light do? We said it reflects, and reflects means it bounces off of, or it shows what it uh, shines onto it. So it bounces on all surfaces and objects. We can only see those surfaces after the something light travels into our eyes. So what kind of light? So we need an adjective. So what kind of light travels into our eyes? The reflected light. So only when the light that bounces off, right? When it comes into our eyes, that's when we can see it. So just like this mirror. So the light shines off her face, 
onto the mirror, reflects or bounces off back to her eyes and she can see her face. Let's look at the last part. Let's circle the correct words in these sentences. So here it says mirrors are smooth, flat surfaces that reflect light, reflects light, reflecting light very well. So here we see that it's a flat surface or flat surfaces and what do they do? They reflect light. So whenever there's a plural right, on the noun, we know that on the verb we cannot use the s. So if it said a flat surface, that, and then we would say reflects, but because it says flat surfaces, then we cannot use the s on the verb. So that's reflect. So let's look at number, uh, number 2b. It says when we look at a mirror, the light bounces on, bounces off, or bounces in our face into the mirror and back into our eyes. A lot of students, they ask me questions, they get confused with these words, which are prepositions. Prepositions show us where it is. So here, does it bounce on top? Does it bounce off? Or does it bounce in our face? So the correct choice here would be bounce off, right? So when the light bounces off our face, uh, into the mirror and back into our eyes, that's when we can see. So let's look at the last question for today. It says, that's what we know, what we look like, that's so we know, or that's how we know. So if you know the 5WH, including the how question, it's giving us more information. So it says, that's how we know what we look like. So when you look in the mirror, you know that it's not just because your eyes can see it, but the light bounces off or reflects. Uh, into our eyes so that we can see what we look like. So look all around you. If you can see what's around you, it's because the light is bouncing off of it and going, reflecting into our eyes. Very interesting article. I hope you learned a lot today. And use these words, reflect, right? Uh, and mirror as we see these things. Next time you look in the mirror, you can see the light bouncing off your face and reflecting back into your eyes. Well, I'll see you again and I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye everyone.